In this video, it's a user request from quite a while ago, so I can't remember, unfortunately, who, who asked, whoever could show how you can start, stop, and restart services in FreeBSD. It's really quite easy. I'll show you in this video. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. In FreeBSD, a service running in the background is known as a daemon. It's a small computer application or program that runs and performs essential tasks, but doesn't provide any user interface to interact with. So it's invisible in all intents and purposes. Generally, all daemons end with the letter D. So in this example that we're going to use for this video, SSH, and we're going to use SSH D. So the syntax of what we're doing today is made up of really three keywords. We are using four, but that's just do as. But it's three keywords. One of them is service, which is the command that we use. The name of the program or application that we want to run in the background, in this case, SSH. And the actual operative uh, switch or command at the end. So it really basically revolves around start, stop, and restart. There are some slight alterations for them, and I'll show you that in a minute. The service configuration relies on an entry in the rc.conf that specifically um, names the service you want to start up when the machine boots up, or if you want to start and stop it using the start and stop command. Funny enough, who knew? But if there is no entry for the particular daemon that you want to run, you have to do service, sshd, and because it's not in the rc.conf, on this particular one occasion, we have to use one start. That means just a, a one-off start because it's only for this session. So it's starting sshd, and to check on the status, you put status. In this case, it's one status, and it's got a PID, a process identification of 5633. And if we want to stop this daemon from running, we put one stop. Once we've made an entry in the rc.conf, we don't have to put one in front of it. It'll just become start, stop, uh, status, etc. To make FreeBSD start these services when it boots up, we'll need to configure rc.conf. Now, the safest way, and the quickest way really, is to use sysrc the name of the service that we want to start running, usually underscore enable, equals yes. And it will place an entry in the rc.conf file. So if you press enter on this, you see it will turn the notification from no to yes, which means it's been switched on for all intents and purposes. Well, it will allow us to switch it on easily. Right, if we take a look at the rc.com file, now you can use whichever editor you prefer. You can use Vim, or you can use Nano. Uh, I prefer EE, uh, and it's shortcut I use, which is edit, because um, I think the interface is better. So I put uh, rc.com, and we scroll down to the bottom, you can see the entry that we made with this sysrc. And there it is. Let's see, you can edit this manually, add it in, or you can use the sysrc. It's whichever you prefer. Now, because it's in the rc.conf, let's clear the screen, we can just put service sshd. And remember, we don't have to use one start. We can just put start now because it's in the rc.conf, and it's start. So uh, it started up. And we can check its status, and there it is. A PID of 5709. If we now put service SSHD and restart, it will do, as it says on the tin, it will restart the service and give it a new PID. And we'll just clear again. And it really is as simple as that. As one final thing from service, we can check all the active services we have on the system. 
So we put service hyphen E, and we're just going to pipe it into less because it might be a big list. And there you can see all the services that have been activated currently on this particular system. It's quite a few. All essential, really. Well, maybe some more than others. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully that was useful. So, the, the actual service utility uh, is really easy to use. And it really does belie how easy FreeBSD itself is to use. And everything makes perfect sense and doesn't contain gobbledygook, which, frankly, some of our operating systems do. Anyway, hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.